In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automate a lot of your contracting using DocuSign, which is a platform that I use for my own contracting because it allows you to automate it and make it a whole lot faster to do contracting. And now this isn't specifically a WordPress tutorial, but I use it to run my own WordPress business and it can be applied to any business that requires contracts. And it's a fantastic tool. We're going to check it out in this video. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe so you don't miss anything. And with that out of the way, let's get into this DocuSign tutorial so you can start automating your contracts. I'll see you there. To get up and running with DocuSign, the first thing we need is a DocuSign account. So we head over to DocuSign.com and we click on free trial, because who doesn't want a free trial first? Even if you know you want to get the free trial anyway, because it's a free month of using the software. And down below here, you even see a buy now and save 10%. So there's a special coupon link on this free trial page if you want to go that route. But for this example, I'm just going to create the free trial account just as you would when you're making any new account. And we'll see how the process goes. It's pretty straightforward. Pick your industry, number of employees, click on get started. No credit card required. Job title, owner, WP Learning Lab. Phone number. It's not a real phone number, but maybe it'll do. Actually, it might, it might be a real phone number. I don't even know. I have to confirm my email address. I'm just going to hop in and do that. So this is the confirmation email. We just click on activate to activate our account. And then we set our password. I use a password generator and then store it all in LastPass for these non-essential type applications. Security question, favorite place to visit as a child? I don't know, soccer field. Activate. And there we go. We have our DocuSign account created. We have a little guided tour box here so we can get started on sign and get signatures. But we're gonna pop right into creating a template which is the point of this video. Up here is a templates button and the template is what you would use to create a document that you then send to someone that needs to be signed, which is the whole point of DocuSign. So click on templates, I'm gonna click on new and then create template. I am going to call my template WP Learning Lab service contract, make a description the same thing. You can call those whatever you want, clearly. And then we add the documents to our template. We can upload from our computer or we can choose to get them from the cloud by choosing one of these options. I'm just going to upload from my computer and I've created a super simple service contract document and it looks like this. There's two spots to sign, a client signature and a date, service provider signature and a date and that's it. Super simple. If you want to add more documents just click upload again or get from cloud again. Keep adding as many as you need until you've added them all. Once you've added all your documents, you need to define the recipients. In this case, we have a client as the first recipient. I'm going to name him Bob, and I'm going to give Bob my email address so I can show you what Bob sees when he gets the DocuSign. This option over here, we have a couple of them, but Bob needs the sign, so that's what I'm going to leave it on. In-person signer means signs in person, and then receives a copy means they don't actually sign, they just receive a copy of the contract. So Bob needs to sign. And we're going to add another recipient, which is me, because I need to sign it too. There's two spots to sign, one for the client, one for the service provider, which is me. So I'm going to call this service provider Bjorn and add my email, which is this one, which I used to create the account. I need to sign as well, but I need to sign after Bob. I'm not going to sign it first and then have Bob sign it later. So we have to set a signing order. And Bob is set to number one, I am set to number two. And if you had in your contract, if you had 15 plus spots that had to be signed and all had to be signed in a specific order, you just keep adding your recipients and keep setting the signing order for those recipients and then you have it all signed in the correct order, which is pretty awesome. At the very bottom is the last step for this part of the template creation and that is the email. The email that Bob receives as well as myself will be subject lined with this please docusign service contract.pdf i can add a message in here if i want it's going to say please sign keep it simple put in there whatever you like and after this is all set up we click on next and we start defining where we actually sign so on this page it shows our document 
and it shows the standard fields that we have available on the left hand side. As you can tell, it, gets, it goes far beyond just signatures. You can do calculations with formulas, you can improve, you can decline, you can do all sorts of stuff. You can even create your own custom fields. But for this simple one, all we need is a signature and a date. The first thing we have to do is pick the right person to sign. So we have Bob up here. Bob is the client, so we're gonna put signature for the client there. Date sign, click and drag the date over to here, and that date will auto-populate to today's date. Sign, when it's a filled in box with filled in color, it's required. So we can uncheck required field or check it to fill in that box. Date is always filled in like that. So that's all we need from Bob's end. Next up, Bjorn, me, the service provider. I also have to sign. In a different color, we have my signature and my date. And that's it, this template's done. So now what we have set up is first Bob will sign in this location, then I will sign in this location, and then work can get started. And we have created a paperless contract process, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna click on save and close in the top right. And there's, as you saw, there's a lot more going on in DocuSign, but we can't cover it all just for a simple template. So just for the simple contract template, that's all we have to do. So we click on use on the right to actually use it. And now it has our recipients here. We can actually change these as we go. So we built this one with Bob in mind, but when we use this contract, we can change it to Jane. We can change it to Joanne, Frank, whatever and then keep reusing the same template. That's the point of having a template. So we have Bob in here, we have me in here. This is the email, which we can also edit. I'm gonna click on send to get this process underway. We get a successfully sent message, and now I'm gonna check my email account to see if I've received Bob's copy. So here we have Bob's copy arrived instantly. It shows the subject line that we saw earlier, and it shows who it's from. And it's important to note that Bob does not need a DocuSign account for this to work. All Bob has to do is click on review document. Bob needs to either read this, or if he's read it already, check this box, then click on continue. This says up here the site uses cookies, so I'm gonna just click okay for the cookies. Then click on start, then click on sign. And now Bob is gonna create his own signature. It hand, hand writes Bob's name, but if Bob wants to create his own signature, he can click on this little draw tab and draw his own signature. I'm gonna try, just try drawing it. It's gonna be terrible. But this is, Bob, a little bit of ugly writing. But that's gonna be Bob's signature in this case. And we click on adopt and sign. And it inputs Bob's signature. It auto input the date. This is all we had to do for this simple contract. You can click on finish at the top right or down below. Once that's completed, you get this message it looks like you have to do something. It looks like you have to sign up, which is what DocuSign wants. They want more customers. But all Bob has to do is click on no thanks and all done. So here it says you're done. Once all signers have finished, check your email for a link to the document, which would be the one that everybody has signed. Bob had the option of saving the one he just signed on his own, but that's kind of irrelevant. So you wait till the end of the process and then DocuSign sends everyone a completely signed document. If we go back to templates here and head over to documents, we see the one that we're currently working on. So we have a need to sign notification here. If we click on the document here, we can see that Bob has signed, check mark beside Bob. Bjorn needs to sign. So I can click on sign in, in here in the back in the DocuSign, or I also received an email. After Bob signed it, I got an email saying, here's a document, Bob has signed it, you have to sign it. So if we head into our email account over here, here we have the DocuSign. I can click on review document and we go through the same process, continue, next, takes the next spot to sign. We see Bob has signed it already. Remember we set the order earlier. So Bob had to sign first, then we have to sign. So Bob has signed it, that's great. It's the same process for us to sign, has a little pop-up for our signatures, adopt and sign, signs it, click on finish and we're done. I know Bob will have received an email. In fact, everybody who is involved in this contract process will have received an email that looks like this, completed, followed by the original subject line for the original message. And here it says completed the document, click on review to review the document. And then we can see everybody has signed. Bob can save this for his records and everybody else can save it for their records. And we have now signed up for DocuSign, completed a document, 
had everybody sign the document all within 15 minutes, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's fast, it's awesome. It makes paperwork so much easier. And I also have further tutorials to this where you can actually automate this process using something called Parsi and Infusionsoft, which is what I do. And I automate this whole process and it makes life so much easier when stuff goes automatically. So watch out for that tutorial. If it's not out yet, it's coming soon. So that's how easy it can be to use DocuSign to automate your contract and make it a lot faster to go paperless, save yourself a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of frustration by following people up with contracts because it does the follow up for you. It's a great little app. I hope you check it out. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then click the bell icon so you don't miss anything. And next up is clicking one of these videos that appeared on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress and get even better at it. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.